What up guys? <laughs> Beautiful day to go for a cruise. Warming up in Texas, man. We're about to do some fishing. You wouldn't believe how many rods and reels I got in this backpack. I think I got one collapsible rod and reel, and there's a pond right over here I want to hit. This is the first of many moto slash fishing vlogs, so should be pretty fun, guys. I don't see anybody else doing this on YouTube right now, and uh, we're trying to hit a million subscribers, so let me tell this car I'm turning, and uh, I'm pretty sure the pond is in here. I've caught a decent fish out of here. Today it's about 65, partly cloudy. All I brought was one rod, one reel, one lure. I literally brought a crankbait. And if they're not going to go after the moving baits today, guys, it's okay. We just won't catch any fish. But I wanted to get out and have some fun because we just picked up this bad boy yesterday. Hit the guy up on Craigslist. He had it at an already good price for the fact that it's got integrated blinkers, fender eliminator, and uh, the exhaust, duh. The uh, Two Brothers RS1 exhaust, like a $450 ex uh, exhaust. The thing had 371 miles on it. It has 390 miles right now, and it's a 2015. And uh, I'm going to tie it in with the fishing. And I don't really know where's a good spot to start here. So we're just going to kind of go with the flow. No trespassing. We're just going to park her in the shade. And cast a line in. Can't tell me this is not a sweet looking setup. So, bam! We are here at the pond that you have maybe seen in a video or two of mine. Now, so let me give you all the walk around. Still got the big old mirrors, but I don't mind that. Check out that, look at that exhaust right there. Integrated blinkers. We're about to stop messing around and actually get to fishing. I just wanted to show you guys the new update to the channel. So, uh, we're rigged up with the GoPro. I obviously brought this camera in the backpack along with the rod and reel and my GoPro setup and uh, some pliers and let me show you guys how you travel with your open crankbaits right here. You put it back in the case you got it and wrap some rubber bands around it. You won't get it hooked on anything and it's actually already rigged up on the rod and reel that's just collapsed in half. Oh dude, we are good to go. Without further ado, let's put this bad boy together and get to it. Okay, so the line's all tangled up. I think we got it though. I brought my shortest rod. This is a Walmart rod that we've had forever. I think this thing is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, five foot six. Let me see. This one's actually six foot. I was gonna bring the five six, but this this reel was already rigged up on here, and I figured I would use that one today um, instead of a couple of my bait casters because they don't cast this light one very well, this lighter crankbait, except for my scorpion. But I have that one rigged up for trout, and I'm gonna go trout fishing tomorrow because they're stocking a pond in McKinney Town Lake. They're stocking that up tomorrow, so I'm gonna go fish for trout there. And I didn't want to take off the trout setup because it takes forever to rig that up since I tie a lead or not and all that good stuff. So anyways, that's how you get the crankbait. Look at this dude, we are on the go. Pull up to a pond, pretty excited about this. Let's see if this even works. Oh, oh. I haven't used this reel in a while because uh, the handle's been broken. So it was missing this piece right here. So this silver piece is off of one of the micro rods because the handle had fallen off of here one time when we were traveling and I couldn't find that piece. And uh, I'm familiar with this pond. What happens is there's a lot of weeds and vegetation here that the crankbaits pick up. So I'll probably be picking up a lot of that. I just want to get a fish or two and call this a successful first moto fishing vlog video because I'd rather catch a fish than not catch one if I had to take a pick. Already got a couple ponds in mind that I can't normally get to or wouldn't normally try to get to because they're kind of in a area off like maybe the service road or just a tricky pond to get to. But on that Grom, I'll be able to just hop the curb and get right over to them where I couldn't really take, where you wouldn't even really want to take the truck because you don't want to get in trouble. And for like those little off-road ponds, oh my goodness, that Grom right there is going to be the freaking pond finder. It's going to be awesome. What I really need is a fish finder though because that's a few casts, no bites.
been like an hour at least. Nothing. I've like walked almost all the way around this thing. There's another guy fishing over here, a couple other kids that showed up. So I think I'm just going to have at it for another half hour even though I've just been picking up a bunch of weeds. I could either do that or go down the street and have like 15 minutes to fish a pond I haven't fished before. So I think I'm just going to stick it out here, try and get me one. How are you? Good. How do you like that clam? I really like it. I actually just bought it yesterday, but oh, I've owned really? a, I've owned a couple in the past. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I used to race motocross back in the 80s. Really? Yeah, I had all kinds of sport and street bikes, and I see those, and I go, oh man, they look so much fun. Yeah, they're a blast. <laughs> no big deal. It's actually a two brothers, two brothers. like S1R or something. It's, like, it's the full system for that bike. The guy had put it on there, so. Yeah, on our previous one we had like the Yoshi exhaust mm -hmm. and then there's a company that does a lot of grum and ruckus stuff called Men in the Box mm -hmm. and theirs is like under the body really loud. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I had it on 380 on the way here and I think it hit like 62 so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. If the wind's against you and uphill you might be like low 50s or... Yeah. I had one over, over there on a small rattle trap. Really? Off. Oh, yeah. dang. I've been here, this is my third time. The first time, I was catching them all the way around here with a crankbait, but it wasn't as, it wasn't chartreuse, it was like yeah. just green. Mm -hmm. And then um, the last time I was here, it was like almost freezing and I caught one on an Ed rig. I caught like a yeah. two, <laughs> two and a quarter or something yeah. like that. So he was decent, but um, yeah, nothing on this little guy, which is fine. I, this guy got me a couple big ones the other day. This yellow, I was kind of surprised, but a pond over by my house, they went after it. They were going crazy for like 15, 20 minutes. I had yeah, three good cool. ones on this thing. So I was like, all right, well. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, well, I'm probably about to split. I figured I'd give it till about three o'clock, and I think that's about, yeah. Yeah, it's three too. <laughs> so, uh, well, have a good one. <laughs> I suppose it could have ended a little differently, but we did pretty good. Didn't catch anything, but that's okay. Well, that's the problem. Oh. Well, guys and gals, I don't think I was using the right tackle today because I didn't get anything. It was a solid two, no. It might have only been an hour and a half total, but it felt like two hours. By the time I left there, because I got there, it was just me. Y'all saw that. By the time I left there, I think it was uh, five or six other people fishing, and two other people had caught caught a fish. Um, so, pretty eventful first moto fish vlog. Y'all know how I'm going to set these things up from now on, so it should be pretty interesting once we actually start catching some largemouth. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.